Hi. We've been asked a lot recently about how uh, users can go offline and do geospatial type work offline, so to see base map tiles, to uh, see layers, and to, and, and to actually store data um, that they can share when they're back online. So, so basically, you're in the field, you have no Wi-Fi connectivity, and you still want to work. We're going to talk about a couple of applications here, which uh, are different, two different approaches to doing offline. Let's walk through the first one. Um, this one is, is this one is actually uh, a map of southern Utah. So you can see we're online at the minute. The, the tiles are filling in. Um, and we can pan around here now. When we zoom in, what's actually happening online is we're actually temporarily storing the files for that zoom level on the phone. This application actually pushes those those files into sort of a permanent cache, if you like, that we can we can reference when we're offline. So instead of the application reaching out over the internet to get the tiles, it's actually going to look on the phone to get the tiles. So what we're going to do here is just hit, hit this going offline button. What that's doing is zooming into a certain point on on the shoreline in Lake Powell, which is what you're looking at, and storing each of those level of of tiles for each zoom level. Um, on the phone for us to reference later. So good, remember that. That's type one. Type two is this next one. So what we're going to do here is, and this is thanks to Mansour for this work, we're actually going to load a, 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 a TPK, which is a tile package from ESRI. So basically it's, it's a, sort of a zip that contains all the tiles you need to work offline. So we're going to load that, that onto the phone. So let's just walk through that there. Now what this is doing is it's actually loading the file. So again, we're online. It's loading the file onto the phone, um, and then we're going to use the uh, the application we will we'll load, and uh, we'll use those files to, uh, to 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 zoom in and and pan, etc. So so whilst that's loading, we're actually going to talk briefly, and I'll have to move over to the to the desktop as well about how we do shape files. There's lots of different ways that people are doing shape files at the moment. We did a a review of apps which currently do them using. Uh, Esri software and and and, uh, and Google, um, and there's lots of different ways it can be done. The biggest the biggest thing is um, oh, this has decided to go funny on me. The biggest thing is um, there we go. So we've finished we finished loading that. Um, um, what I was saying about shape files, I'll, I'll show you an improved way to do shape files um, offline. Uh, sorry for offline use. So now what we've done is we've loaded that we've loaded for the first application we've loaded all the base map tiles from on, from our online interaction and we store those and we've also for this other application we've got a TPK which we've loaded on the phone. So let's now go offline and I'll show you both those applications again. So we're going to go there. Flight mode takes us offline. So now we don't have an internet connection. Let's open those applications again. So let's show the first one um, there. There we go. Now you can see in the top left hand corner it now says offline. So we are not online at all, we're offline. Let's just see if we can zoom into that map. There we go. Now I'm going to talk about this on the side in a moment. But as you can see, we are zooming into the map. And as we get closer, this is a point we actually when we did the when we did the the process of going offline, we actually zoomed into this point here. That's as far in as we went, so we uh we don't have um tiles at that level. But basically, that works nicely for us. But let me show you something. When we pan over to here, there is a limit to how far we can pan. We've only stored for that zoom level the tiles needed to zoom into that point. So the good side is we can, if we're interested in a particular isolated location, we can zoom into that location using this. But if we're looking for a wider area in this in this scenario, we're not going to be able to get there. So, goods and bads of that of that type. But that's one way that we can do offline caching of base map tiles. Now, of course, we could overlay things on top of that, like shape files, which we'll talk about in a minute. Let's go to the other application. Again, thanks to Mansour for this. The work he's done here is fantastic, and we're, at, we're as ever we take Mansour's work and adapt it a little bit for client specific needs. So this is Beirut. This is what we loaded. There it is. So that's from the TPK. Let's zoom into that. Very cool. So you can see that we've actually got multiple zoom levels and we can pan across. So we're no longer limited from where we can actually zoom to. We actually get everything. And that's because we've got it in a package. So, so that is very, very cool. 
Um, and again, this is all offline. So these are the two approaches we can take to doing offline work. Um, let's just walk away from this for a second. This is all about base map tiles. So obviously that's the, the foundation of, of any work we're going to do is to load those base map tiles. Let's just take a look over onto, the, onto my desktop over here and show you an application running on my screen here. Let me just zoom back here. So we have a, basically what we're looking at here is, and it's, it's indistinct, I realise, we set the opacity to low on the, on the base map. It's still a base map that's loaded there, but the opacity is low. In the top left hand corner, we've got an add local shapefile option. Let's click that. So we've downloaded, we, what, what's happening there is a zip file is being downloaded, it's being, um, th what's inside of the zip file has been pulled out, and then we're actually generating an image of that shapefile. And there's the image. And you saw how quick that was. That was super quick. Now this is, this is I, I show it on a, on a desktop because this is work that, this, this is in Flex which is a web technology, what you just looked at, both of those mobile applications are um, a Flex Mobile. So we're basically looking at the same code base. We're, 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 a, we're taking this code and putting it onto a, on a, onto a phone at the moment. So I'll do another video of that. But the biggest point of this is it's really quick. I mean, there's a little bit of redrawing that goes on, but uh, it's it loaded quickly. You get a little bit of redraw, but basically you, you've got an offline shapefile there. So even though we're on a desktop and you can imagine the scenario, what would happen on the on the on the mobile is you'd simply pull in the zip file, um, you'd load, you'd, you'd you'd do exactly what's happened here. You'd pull what's inside of the zip file out, and generate the shapefile as a as an image, and, and off you'd go. Performance is really crucial with these um, with when you're using shapefiles. Um, and we've got the performance down so it's it's really really quick and when we've compared this performance with other um, other ones that are out there, other shapefile loaders that are out there, this one's super fast so so this is very cool so there's a there's a quick background on how one does offline I've, I've shown you two applications with two different t which take two different approaches for base maps and then here is a, a zip file that you'd, you'd preload onto your a mobile phone and then you'd, you'd generate the, the shape file as you're looking at here. So, so overlaying layers, taking base map tiles, there are two very, very robust solutions. Thanks for watching.